Figures of action here, and today we're going to take a look at the Mezco 112 Commander, Commander Rogers. Rogers action figure. Um, Commander Rogers is a clear distinction from Captain America. He does not have the Captain America costume, only, or only he has like the shirt costume mm -hmm. that, and his shield. That's all he really has, but no mask. No mask. Um, Commander Rogers came with one head, and it's the one that you see there on the figure now. Um, and that's it. This is a previews exclusive, the Commander Rogers. I uh, picked this up secondhand from my favorite local toy store, uh, The Lost Toys in Dallas. Pretty uh, good. Yeah, they're closed today, Sunday. But uh, I picked this guy up at the beginning of the week from them. And uh, got a pretty good deal on it, I thought, um, for a figure that's, you know, no longer in production. You can still find these on eBay and Amazon, but uh, I should have pre-ordered the guy. Um, I usually pre-order from Fresh Figures. The Mezco, I wasn't sure about because I, I love Marvel Legends and I collect a lot of Marvel Legends. And, um very comfortable paying $20 for an action figure. But the first time that you buy a Mezco, I know that they're $80, but you'll clearly see what where the money went and what the difference is here. Uh, Mezco has come up with this thing, these 112 figures, the Marvel ones, which are the ones that I have. It's like they took... Marvel Legends characters and gave them import figure articulation like Figma and somehow put that together with old school Mego clothes. Um, the like dolls? Kind of. The, the Mego clothes were big, They're like pajamas. Uh, some companies still make Mego style figures. I actually remember Mego style figures from being a kid. I uh, turned 25 about two months ago. Uh, sorry, turned 45 about two months ago. And I actually remember Mego figures uh, when I was a kid. And although they were awesome at the time, I look at them now and I'm like, uh, man, those were some awful figures. This is somehow an updated version of that concept. You've got real cloth costumes on the figures. You've got Mezco's level of detail, sculpting and paint. It's like it's paint. stealing ideas from other companies, kind of. Well, I wouldn't say that, because they have the license to do it. Um, their price point is different than Marvel Legends. So Marvel Legends are six inch figures that are 20 bucks. Mezco are six inch figures that are 80 bucks. You'll instantly see where the money went um, if you pick one of these up. The, uh, the fabric costumes, which I wasn't a fan of at first. You know, I, got, I got my Deadpool and I was like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. And then I got Punisher and I'm like, man, I gotta, gotta get some more of these. Really cool. Yeah, I've been looking at Commander Rogers they're online. Like, but it's worth it because they're like eighty dollars, but they have your clothes and they come with so many accessories. They, it's really worth it. I do think that it's worth it. I did not until I got uh, Deadpool in my hands, and once I saw Deadpool and what they were able to do with that character, awesome. yeah, I uh, was instantly converted to the uh, Mezco 112. As soon as I got Deadpool, I knew that I'd be getting more after that. So, with that long introduction, let's take a look at the Commander Rogers action figure from Mezco. He comes with a stand, and the stand uh, comes with the arm the adjustable arm, but it also has a peg that you can put his uh, his feet on. 
so it'll stand up like that. The first thing that you see when you get a Mezco figure is the box. It's a big box. It's about, I don't know, maybe 12 by 10 by 3. Maybe 12 by 8 by 3. Uh, it's a big box. 12. And the ones that I've gotten came with a plastic bag over the box. And two of them, the Punisher and uh, the Deadpool, had... I'm sorry, the Punisher and the Commander Rod, they all had a slip case that went over the box. Mm -hmm. And I keep them all because I like slip cases. The uh, Commander Rogers and the Punisher come with a fifth panel window display box. And what that means, after you slide the uh, the other piece off, there's uh, there's pictures of the figures on the back, but what the Punisher and uh, Commander Rogers boxes do, they open up like a book, and there's some awesome artwork in there. I guess that's a uh, cap versus some Hydra guys or something. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're not green. They don't have the logo, but they're definitely some some mm -hmm. some bad guys. They look like brown. They look like brown ninjas with red eyes. Then the uh, the figure and all the accessories were housed here. Nice uh, artwork there on the back. The 112 Collective logo. And on the back, on the it top. shows like reviews of how it would look. Yeah, it's got the, the the promo pictures. And the thing that gets me in the promo pictures about these these 112 figures, they make them look huge. <laughs> and they make them look so darn big. big. In the pro in the promotional pictures, they look huge. And you get the box, and it's this great big box. And then you open up the figure, and it's a little six inch guy. Yep. With clothes on. And just to show you, let's get that box back in the background. Looks good back. Do you think we should compare their eyes? Not yet. Okay. Um, we'll take a look at uh, Commander Rogers here. He's got some pretty cool things that my other two Mezco figures did not have. Um, he's got... The boots and the pants tucked into the boots. It's it's a it's a fabric costume and the, the pants and shirt are connected. He's got a belt. He's got uh, he's got interchangeable hands and stuff. But what this guy has that the other two didn't have is magnets. So he's got two different harnesses. This is the one that has the magnet in it. And there's a magnet here in the shield. And there is a magnet on both forearms. How do they work? Um, so the shield can sti usually stick there to his forearm on either side. If I can just find it, it's hard to find in there sometimes without pulling the shirt up. That's it. And I'll show you the clear shield is pretty cool. And it's got a handle on it, and it seems to fit best in this type hand, but I am afraid with the clear plastic that it might not be able to take too much abuse. Since we're classifying, let's compare their eyes. What, what, why don't we wait till no, we talk about the, the head? We need to wait. No, we're classifying. So he's got magnets on both forearms that the shield can stick to. Uh, it sticks a lot better if you've actually got the uh, the handle in one of his hands as well. Um, there's a little bit of blue on his arms and on his neck, but you can't really tell when the figure... Uh, has his head has his head uh, level on his neck and with the magnets I don't think that you'd have his sleeves pushed up too much most of the time anyway so the uh, the, the blue on the skin is not a seal a deal breaker for me it doesn't bother me that much no. um, I am aware that it's there somebody on Instagram had told me about it but uh, I'm fine with it it's just a little bit of blue it doesn't I, I, don't, I don't need to take it off of there for maybe anything. Maybe they're like 
taking the fabric and they got some I on think, the arms, maybe? I think that one of them may have been heated up or one of them may have not been completely dry when they put them against each other. And that's how his skin got kind of blue under his costume. This clear shield is really, really cool. I like the fact that it has the magnet in it and the handle and that it will easily go onto his back or also onto his form. He also came with a cool combat knife. The same one the Punisher came with, but this one has a brown handle instead of a black one. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the shoulder strap with the magnet is removable pretty easily. And he has stars on his shoulders and on the front of his chest. He was packaged with a different um, harness thing. On the figure, that one with the magnet was actually in one of the series of trays behind him. Came with so the square stand. He came with this harness strap thing that okay. does not have a magnet. This is the one that he was wearing in the package. Um, probably because we're they, digging into the. Go ahead. Probably because they didn't like want somebody open at the store and then like explore it. So then they didn't want them to like put the magnets on it in case it was loud and somebody was doing something. Maybe. Yes, they need to hear. Here's a closer look at the arm that came with the stand, and then in the 112 accessories bag, there is a bunch of hands. A bunch. Of hands. Of hands. Which is kind of I think he has a total of eight or ten hands. Let's count. And he's got thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up to me. He's awesome. got the open hand, the karate chop hand. No, high five hand. The fist hand. Fist pop. The pointing finger hand. Another karate chop hand. No, high five. Another hand. fist hand. A shield or knife grabbing hand and another karate chop hand but this one's not straight this it's one's like got a little five. curve to it what he does not have anywhere is trigger fingers but he doesn't come with a gun either uh, mm -hmm. Captain America uh, at least the, the more modern version of Captain America and also Commander Rogers use a uh, the shield is a weapon um, because it can be. Like, so, you could like do his, it like this. That was a, a closer look at some of his accessories. Let's take a look at the figure. The belt, I don't think is removable. Um, it's similar to the belt on the Punisher, and the one on the Punisher There's came came off. Can we hang on? But I can't get this belt to come undone. And one thing that does kind of get me about it is it has a tendency to ride up high. But then Steve Rogers is what, 90 years old? So he wears his pants like an old man. And he wears his belt kind of high like an old man. So it's kind of it's kind of funny, but it's kind of annoying. Um, trying trying to pose annoying. him and stuff. Cause I can, yeah, he's like 90 years old. He was frozen in ice for I don't know how many years, and they found him. So, yeah, really, like, really, he's like 90 years old. Probably like 1,200 years. So, yeah. but the belt, the belt was originally fixed in place with a piece of brown thread, and somehow through moving the belt, I, the thread came undone, and I actually uh, saw it sticking up, and it just pulled right out. So now the belt can move all around, but one thing I can't seem to get it to do is to rest just a little lower there. So sometimes when I put him in some poses, it kind of rides up a little bit. And sometimes you can see the difference between the, the shirt and the pants with the belt just kind of yeah. where, where a belt would not be, you know, if you were wearing it through your belt loops or hey, on your pants. Belt. Yeah. We'll talk about it in a second okay. with the eyes. Let's compare um, them. In a second. Okay. Um, I can't get the belt to sit quite as it's low as I'd like it to. Uh, the belts on the Punisher and Deadpool do sit lower than this one. This one's just kind of high, but Steve Rogers is an old man, so I guess it's okay. Um, the boots are amazing with the detail and the uh the paint they look like real boots the shading on them they do look like real boots they are pretty freaking amazing and they like 
like it's kind of shiny right there like it looks like it's shiny and it's made mm -hmm. out of like metal or something mm -hmm. but it's probably just like shiny brown paint or something like that because when you look at it really closely then it doesn't look shiny anymore the stripe on his pants and these here they seem to almost be like a vinyl decal type they or they could be like they they, they do kind of, bend they're kind of like stickers kind of it's not quite paint it feels like those uh t-shirts that you get that have yeah. the designs printed on them that you can feel that. most similar to that is the best way i can describe it i'm not a textiles guy i don't know about uh all the uh, textures. Fabric and uh, yeah. uh, applications that they had and all that. Now but uh, it seems. Hang on. Okay. Um, the same feel that the stripe on the pants have is also present here in the uh, stars and stripes that go across his uniform. So that's pretty cool. Now we can talk about the head sculpt. Yeah. I do wish that Commander Rogers came with some type of mask or alternate head an old man steve rogers would have been fantastic oh my gosh. um on this head sculpt or on this body that would have been really cool so i'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpt yeah. um it is very well sculpted painted but, but we don't want to detailed. say it's horrible because it is a good action figure it is not horrible but of the action figures that I have from Mezco, it is my least favorite. It is very well done. I just, I guess, don't like the Commander Rogers yeah, we're character's so face. Uh, it's not we're Mez sorry, 112. It just looks weird. Yeah, it's not Mezco's fault. I just, I would have preferred a different head sculpt. And Old Man Rogers would have been really, really awesome. That might give them an idea to make one. So, Some, if, so if you're one, if you're somebody that works at 112, um, we buy your action figures and we like them. Something my seven-year-old noticed yesterday was how small his eyes were. Yeah. And I showed her how small Deadpool's and Punisher's eyes we're were. And she broke out one of her Marvel Legends Kitty to show Pride. how much bigger her eyes were than his. And I think that Marvel Legends are not in a true 112 scale. And that sometimes their Focus features camera. are bigger. So the 112 figures are in a true 112 scale. So while they're small, their features are also Just small. Look at her eyes some of the compared I know to his. some of the Marvel Legends features are sometimes exaggerated not just the height. I know not everybody in the Marvel Universe is six and a half feet tall, but most of the Marvel Legends seem to be six and a half inches tall. He's kind of, he, they're the same height. They are almost the same height. Oh, that brings us to, their let's see how tall. Yeah, let's that see, brings us to the next Let's see how tall he is, one. and we'll run through the articulation and try and wrap this up, because this is the longest 112 video yes. ever. Yes, Well, what about... Um, the Deadpool, and that was like that. Took Twenty up, minutes. Yeah, it took up two gigs. All right, let's see how tall. Three. Should be six inches. Let's see. Can I get the ruler behind him? Yeah. Or get him in front of the ruler. Six inches. Now let's see how tall she is. Six, six inches. inches. Yeah, you're right. It's because of height. her ponytail so high. Just look at it. Maybe There's so. Her hair. It's probably her ponytail. Steve here has a double ball jointed head, so his head is on a peg that has a ball on the end of it, and the neck is also on a ball joint, so it's like a double ball jointed head. It's an incredible range of motion, above and beyond your $20 action figures and what you can get out of them. I forgot to tell him something, but I'll tell him at the end. Okay. He's got ball jointed shoulders, but they also have a... Uh, a butterfly joint in there. Can I like a sticker because that one's kind of starting to peel off a little bit? Yes, we're going to try and keep those stickers on there yeah. as long as we can. Okay. Um, it's got the upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He's got the, I didn't show y'all, he's got the uh, 
ball hinge wrists, and that's the way his hands his hands pop off with the peg on the inside. For some reason, I thought that number one hand right there was like a peace hand. I thought it was like that for a minute. I left like peace. All right. He's got the diaphragm joint. He's got a waist swivel. I think he's got a waist swivel. Oh yeah, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Or he's got he's got a double diaphragm. He's got a, a diaphragm joint and then a waist joint that is not very cooperative. All right, but he's a ninety year old man, so um, he's got the ball but jointed he is hips. Nine? Ninety. Oh, I like the diaphragm. He's got ball That's jointed nine. hips. And the way his pants are, the way his shirt's stretchy, but his pants aren't, so I do have a hard time getting some well, pants are, of the articulation. So yeah, but the it's, it's kind of like jeans because jeans aren't like stretchy. Right, the Punisher like and Deadpool, you can move them all kinds of crazy ways because their costumes stretchy. This is not stretchy. The the pants aren't. Yeah, so I just feel them. Yeah. that was the camera. Sorry. So I can't get his leg all the way up because of the pants. I can get it most of the way up, but not all the way Sorry, up. Sorry, camera. And the same thing with going to the out to the sides. It doesn't go quite about 45 degrees. But 90, 90 degrees. Something that's there, the same total. about the two of them. Punisher and um, Commander Rogers, they both have like main going pants. Yes. He's got the upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, the boot swivel, and oh yeah 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 ankle pivot. So pretty cool. I am very happy with this figure, and he scales very well with other one uh, twelfth action figures. It's getting kind of long, isn't it? He scales very well with your other one. Not just the Mezco 112, but say your uh, your Marvel Legends. He's about as tall as they are, unless they're oversized on the bigger body there. But girls the biggest. So, yeah. But him and him, they're both the same height, but he's not. He's the, like the tallest. Him. So, yeah, he scales pretty good with your. With your Marvel Legends and your uh, your Mezco 112, um, that is about all that I can think of to tell you about Commander Rogers. I know this video probably ran a little long. We're but, sorry uh, about that. Not too sorry. We're still gonna put it on YouTube. We are. Yeah, we so are. we're not really sorry. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? Like and su subscribe and comment below, and also. Um, Thank you for watching all our 112 videos. If we ever get more, um, we'll, we'll put it on YouTube as normal. And thank you for watching our Punisher video and this video. But if you haven't watched the Deadpool and Punisher video, please do that after this video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.